Alrighty then, hello everyone, my name is Yeti5000, and welcome to something that I've never posted on my channel, but I'm hoping to get it good as a Kickstarter, uh, to start a, a new series. This is the, um, $500 Blow Your Socks Off build. So basically, the $500 budget really limits you to a lot of parts of the PC world, um, but here we go, here's the budget, just under $500 actually. Uh, they have some new deals out, uh, and this is the, uh, the, the holiday season, it's, uh, 12-18-2014, so, it's, uh, the 18th of December. As of me recording this, of course. Um, and so yeah, that's our budget. We needed to squeeze as much stuff in as possible. Uh, we did not include an operating system, but if you did include one, then this would be at about a $600 build. Um, operating system included. But anyways, moving on. Alright, so the main chip, the CPU that we have chosen, is the Intel Pentium G3258. This is a uh, stock uh, clocked at 3.2 GHz. Uh, it's a dual-core processor, no hyper-threading, no nothing. Um, except for the fact that it's fully unlocked. It's, uh, NCIX US offers this chip at a really low price of 60, uh, 63.99. And again, with the fully unlocked-ness, uh, you get an absolutely killer potential in overclocking this bad boy. Coupled with this motherboard, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, there are plenty of tutorials that teach you how to get it up to 4.2. I bet you there's one to even get it up to 4.5, 4.8, even. But that's with a cooler. You probably won't even get it past uh, 5.3 or 5.3 on this board if you really try because of the uh, the 1. Point, uh, the 1.2 volt uh, power limit. But other than that, 4.2 is an absolutely killer overclock. And uh, coupled with this motherboard, the GA B85M DS3H, it's an absolutely fantastic couple of, uh, of chipping board. And this board also comes with the uh, the LGA 1150 uh, socket, so you can install higher end uh, chips if you want to in the future. Except for the uh, the five uh, the 5000 series um, Intel chips, you can't you can't do those. They use the uh, the 2011 chip or the 2011 socket. Anyways, um, for RAM we got ourselves uh, some Mushkin Enhanced Silverline, uh, eight gigs, two DIMMs of four gigabytes, um, DDR3 RAM, 1600 megahertz. This is absolutely fantastic RAM, and it will not fail you, I promise. All right, moving on, we have ourselves a standard. Bar Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte, 7200 RPM, uh, six megabytes of cache. This is a hard drive, and this will keep all your nice, um, nice, nice family pictures, uh, all nice and stored up and safe, and and uh, keep for later. All right. Next, we have the uh, the main piece. This is a uh, R9285, offered for $175. Absolutely fantastic deal. And. Uh, NCIX US offers this deal uh, with a mail-in rebate. It's usually $204, but if you mail in, then you get an extra, uh, what is it, uh, $30 off. So it's an absolutely fantastic deal. You do not want to miss this up. All right, next we got ourselves a deep cool Tesseract uh, mid-tower case. This is an absolutely fantastic case for the for the price, uh, the price of $30. Um, it's got those blue accents around it. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, for um, for uh, optical drive mounts, if you want those, or card readers or whatever, and a fully meshed front side, as well as two uh, side fan mounts and uh, grates. Um, there is a side window version, and the side window version comes with one LED, but that costs $10 more. Um, we could fit this in the budget, but I didn't feel like it was necessary, because no one, I mean, if you really want to, you can look inside your computer every day. But uh, it's it's really up to the buyer. If you want to save an extra ten bucks, then go ahead and go with this version. All right. Next, we have our power supply. Our power supply is a uh, Corsair CX series 430 watt um, ATX power supply. It's an absolutely fantastic and reliable power supply. It's lasted people many years, and um, 430 watts is just enough to get this system booted up and powered. Uh, this power supply will probably be running at about uh, 70. 70 to 80 percent, which is healthy, uh, but it's preferred a 60 to 70 percent um, usage. At idle, it's, it's probably around 30 to 40 percent. So, it, it, this power supply is really kind of pushing it, but if you were to go for a 500 watt one, then you'd be spending an extra, what, uh, $20, and that's, that's kind of unfortunate. But anyways, I think that's about it. Yep, I think that wraps it up. Um, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope that this, um, this Kickstarter will work really well for you guys, all those PC enthusiasts out there. <laughs> Excuse me. 
And um, uh, my plan for this will be every single month, uh, at the end of the month, I'll, uh, uh, I'll post a, um, a computer build, a PC build, all along the lines of your budget suggested in the comments down below. So everyone go and comment down below, as well as vote. And go ahead and like up all the, uh, the budgets that you guys want me to build next. And yeah, so thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you all the subscribers and all the people who leave likes on my videos. Thank you for all the support in the series that I've been doing. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.